Okay, so today we want to check our cylinder head to see to see if it has cracks or any kind of warpage. So we have an aluminum a cylinder head. We know we had a blown head gasket. The head gasket was completely blown on it. And so now we just prepped it using the kit that we use to check for aluminum heads for cracks. So it's a three-step process. You use aluminum check, which is a cleaner. So you, we sprayed it with the cleaner. Then we sprayed it with the penetrant dye, and you got to let this sit for two, uh, one minute to five minutes. It's been sitting for about two minutes now. And now we're ready to use the developer. And then this will show us, and it's pretty much a three-step process. You clean her, penetrant for one to five minutes for no more cracks, and 20 more minutes for very fine cracks. We've been waiting about two minutes. And then we're going to try to develop her, and it says shake the clan very well. Spray a thin, even layer developer over the entire area to be inspected. Several light applications are better than one application. Allow the developer 30 to 60 seconds to dry thoroughly and inspect for cracks. Okay, so the last time we did this, we found a crack. I do not think we're going to find a crack. So I'm just going to spray this. Several applications, it said, so I'm just going to go back and forth. And then I'm going to look for cracks. And again, we have to wait uh, 30 to 60 seconds to see if it cracks. So while that's waiting, this is what you use for aluminum heads. If it was a metal head, like a, a steel head, like well, this is a piece of steel or metal, you would use a, uh, uh, a Magnaflex uh, system. So you put a little powder here. This is Magnaflex, and then you would use this super magnet right here. You turn it on and hit the button, and this little fine powder will eventually start to work to where the cracks are at. So if there's a crack, you would start to see this stuff actually moving towards the crack, and it would it would uh, show the crack for you. So this is a Magnaflex. So if you have a, a different kind of head, you would want to use this with this powder, okay? That's magnet flexing, flexing for it, uh, cylinder heads that are steel. This is an aluminum head. So now I'm going to look, and I'm going to look very carefully between each of these cylinders. Especially this cylinder number uh, one, two, cylinder number three had a pink spark plug in it from burning coolant. So, and we know that the cylinder is actually uh, cleaned off. We'll show you that in a second. Um, so I know this was definitely leaking, this was leaking, but I'm looking for any kind of fine crack that would show up, bet especially between the two cylinders. And I do not see any. Looks pretty good, okay? So I do not think this head gas is cracked. Now the other thing I need to check, is I need to check to see if it's warped. So I'm going to use a straight edge and a feeler gauge, and I'm going to put it right across here. Now you should do this without the Magnaflux on there, or the, the head gas, cracked head gasket uh, uh, um, spray. So I'm going to put it across each of these, and now look at that. Three thousandths of an inch should not go through this. It should be like this, all the way through. See that? doesn't go through starts to go through, starts to go through, and now it goes through right here, goes through right here, starts getting tighter, starts getting tighter. I'm afraid we're gonna have to have our head machined here. So I'm gonna go this way now. And again, I'm gonna go right here. It's tight, 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 tight. And right there, look at that. This head is, is warped. And right here, look at that, no effort at all. No effort, no effort, a little, a, lot, a little bit of effort, and then it won't even go through. This head right now in these two areas is definitely warped, okay? And I think it probably warped on this one right here. Let's see. No, not so much. These are the two cylinders that we were le leaking coolant into. So now let's look at the motor and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Follow me over here. So here's our head gasket. This is cylinder number one, two, three, and four. We know that this is blown 
And where we were low at were these two bridges here, and you could totally see where the black gasket's been blown away from, uh, and, and this is a blown head gasket. And if you look inside here, you compare these pistons, notice one's real clean, and that's because there's antifreeze that was steam cleaning the top of the piston. So we know that this was getting a ton of coolant in there uh, continuously, and it had a pink spark plug to the point that it took all this carbon off of it. And the carbon's gone so we can see the blown head gasket here's your here's your coolant galleries right here surrounding each of the pistons and so the coolant would go in to each cylinder at both these points right or all three of these points right here and especially these two to where the motor completely overheated and uh, stalled and was hard to restart so we're going to go ahead and here's the other thing it was le uh, le uh, burning white smoke at your exhaust. So we not only were leaking coolant in, but the coolant would go out the exhaust pipe, our exhaust manifold down in here, and it would shoot out white smoke. So we know we need to have our head uh, check, our head surfaced. We need a new head gasket because it's blown right here, and especially these two areas on cylinders two and three. Okay, we're good.